With this system, you can easily turn out a light medium production directly transfers fairly easily. Perfect. So, this is an entry level desktop uh, DTF printer. If you're not ready for the uh, bigger machines so or the bigger production, like we said, uh, long to medium size production. So go ahead and take a look at that, honey. So, the far as the with the BY20, we're using a DX7 print head. It's a perfect technology for a strong print engine. It's easy to operate, easy to maintain. All right, guys, I'm going to give you one of the major components on this. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the first log is a 20 inch roll fence. The front load is really easy for you loading and set up a machine. It also allows you to put it against the wall if you want to pull out the machine for operations. It's something that's really easy. Interlocks, so, um, full metal, platen, solid internals, adjustable pinch rollers, and media clamps to protect your printing during operation. On the left side, the cartridges are stored to the laser. Below that, we have a maintenance bay for your ink, accessories, and tooling. On the right side here, we have access to a station for periodic. Maintenance. And below that, we have additional storage for accessories, inks, and what have you. We also have a high capacity waste ink container built by the air. It's swapped out. It's flat on high. So we have a video. It also includes a license for flexi design, a great program for creating white image plates. Designing. This is compared to this Bastex to show the semi automated application system. But here we'll load in our 16 by 20 inch sheets. Close the cover. Release the powder. And it will activate the vibration. From there, it's a matter of pulling our sheets out, loading it into our conveyor below. You are ready. And you have transfer ready for. Coming out of the side of the machine. The great advantage here is that you're going to have a smaller footprint with your powder application system. It's really easy to get started. You don't have to deal with the full inline automation uh, associated with those large. Would any shaker be compatible with the BY20? Yes, generally speaking, anything that can accommodate the 20 inch roll can be mounted up or fixed to be white 20. Okay, well, thank you, Gary, for your time. We appreciate your knowledge. And um, yeah, we appreciate it. We're very excited about the level to medium level be white 20. Uh, excited to present it. So thank you again. Very cool. Thank you. Hey, guys, I'm going to demonstrate the actual powder application or powder setting process. Let's start here. One of my favorite features of the BY20 is the perforated sheet nut. This will allow you to separate or tear the sheet off the roll without dropping it down or exposing it to dust or free. So let's get started. Oh, wow. For BY20. Yeah. Get rid of the dust. Single lever operation, pulling it up, the release the powder, dropping it down, actually shaking process. This applies a very consistent application of adhesion powder, which we can then set in the conveyor oven below. So we just need one pass of that, of the powder. Here, it's a matter of taking it down below. Okay. We'll get loading it on our conveyor, and we'll have ready to transfer graphics coming out the other side.
So what made you like go with this nature? We vent like this nature. First and foremost, it's the book brand. It's not going to take a lot of space on your shelf. Some casters making you watching this and her requirement. It's easy to get started and set up quickly without a lot of feeding, webbing, and loading with inline system. Additionally, this system will retail for about six thousand dollars less, making it affordable as a unit system. That's a special film that tears off like that, or it's so the machine actually performs perforated cutting. Oh, can do a straight sheet cut, so yeah. with our other systems, or the perforated sheet cut, which allows for tear offs. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Sure. Yeah. Because that, can you talk about how whenever you're doing it like that, you're not wasting as much film? Because whenever we're like printing on our Mamaki or something like that, we're kind of wasting a lot of film, especially at the end of runs. But this seems really efficient. Absolutely. It's a great way to gain jobs, economize media, keep your friends organized and stuff. Like a, like an art oh. or something. Yeah. We're taking a look at the graphics here. Rich, bright, white colors. Soft hand of the fabrics, stretchable, easy to transfer, very durable. Is it ready? Is it? So line action, we'll go ahead and see that the DTF transfer is coming out. We have a 16 by 20 coming out now, fully baked, adhesive powder, small footprint, all with the big Y20. Ready to go. We pull this off our conveyor. We'll, look, we'll see that consistent orange peel look. That's exactly what you want to see with this film. This will be ready to transfer or seal and sell direct. All right. Is that uh, typically a hot or a cold film? Ideal for a cold film. All right. So if you like one in live in action, with the shaker, what is the shaker? The PTF 100. So if you guys have any questions, just let us know. Thanks again, Karen. Appreciate the time. Absolutely.